Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europe and Versailles 4 with me, Alpha Pi Omega, Mayo and Texas 3.0 in Novgorod. The year is 1782 and we have just ended the war with Lithuania, taking, well, not exhaustingly big, but taking quite a big chunk of their territory. Uh, all of these provinces are of our culture and our religion. And there's a couple more that we might want to take in the future, but uh, for me this war with Lithuania has not gone the way I intended it, and as I found out that Crimea is now only allied with Damascus and the Turkish Empire, I think we might want to go after them next. Uh, the reason for that is simple, Crimea itself will only get um, defended by these guys, while all of our allies would help us uh, with that, so, uh, you know, it would be actually pretty good, it would be pretty good, uh, but I'm gonna wait a bit, we need to, you know, consolidate and deal with the unrest here, see if we can do uh, something with it, and maybe we can even see Turks, uh, getting involved in some other war. We'll see. If they enter into a war, I'm gonna immediately ask my allies to prepare for war and we're gonna attack. But right now our manpower is actually really bad. Uh, we are regaining it, but you know, nothing nothing great is happening on there. We'll have to see. We're also having some rebels here in uh, Dornod. <sighs> Our army is on the way, but uh, you know we'll have to see if if they can get there before any major damage is done. I ask them to force march, so hopefully they will arrive in due time. We're also colonizing the uh, far eastern provinces. I would like to colonize more, but we're already I think colonizing six provinces. Yeah, six provinces. Uh, some of them, though, will be done soon, like Salende will be done soon and Saktuhan afterwards. So, oh, it's Soktahan, read that wrong, which will allow us to go with Uda. Oh no, I was just speaking about this. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Jesus Christ, this is annoying, this is really annoying, this is really, really, really annoying. What kind of territory would this be? This would be Far East? Maybe we can send, send an expedition there. Hmm. Northern China, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. God damn it, game, why are you doing this? Okay, so we're just gonna get Uda and Nurgan. Hmm. War for one province, that just... That's not gonna happen anytime soon. Especially because it would mean breaking alliance with... with England. The rest I could deal with. I could just snag the province and then go piece them out, but... This, this cannot fly. Well, we cleared out the provinces uh, that were taken over by the rebels. Fairly straightforward. Uh, they actually managed to conquer Dornod, where they increased the separatism to 9 years. Actually, that would be 18 years. Uh, yeah, it was 19 years, actually, because it was 9.5. Other than that, Onon and the rest seems like they will be pretty, pretty good in a couple of years. The separatism will begin in about 8, so we're still looking at a small scale uh, possibility of uprising here. We'll see. Uh, the 4th Republican Army is retreating to Ilek because we will most likely have another uprising here of the Kazakh separatists. Uh, we do have most of the unrest in Aral Tefizi, so I'm expecting there to be Actually, our ruler does not have command, so let's put him here, so he can prove himself in the battle. Sixth shock, damn. 
so I expect them to raise in Arrow to Fizzy, but we'll see. You know, the chance is not the great. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And once we defeat them, there's probably never going to be another uprising. What's interesting, though, is that uh, the provinces that we have here and that we are coring all lost their unrest with the exception of Mazira, which has an insane level of separatism. I have no idea why Mazir. Uh, I guess maybe. I don't know. It is Ruffinian, same as the other one. I, I don't know what happened there, why it's like that. Uh, as we have finished uh, the mercantilism ideas, we're gonna continue with uh, the diplomatic technology. But I'm gonna save uh, the uh, administrative technology for the last empire ideas, which are going to give us quite a nice bonus. We also managed to triple the amount of manpower that we have in reserve, so a war with uh, Crimea is becoming more and more of an option very soon. Okay, so yeah, they raised in weird places. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's give you forced march so we have a chance that you will take them out. Please tell me you're not gonna die here. Oh, we have no leader. That's great. Yeah, but they're they're getting killed. Hopefully, the fact that there's a fort here will stop them from having any effect like they had before. So let's send you as well and see how that's gonna work. Uh, what time? 1st of January. Dang. 20th of December. We'll be just late. Okay. It did do nothing. Awesome. So we got them. We got them suppressed. Awesome. So I'm gonna move these forces uh, to the Crimean border as well. And we'll prepare for a possible invasion. I still don't see any good reason for you guys to do anything, but eh. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, man. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so you guys have a leader, so you're going to go to... Hmm. The question is what we want to get here. Why do they have forts? Do they have any forts? There is a small fort in Dikra. There's a fort in Chihirin. There's a fort in Crimea. Because it would be kind of great to separate them from the Ottomans. If we could uh, attack to Dikra and then swoop upwards, while well, you guys would take the rest and you... Yeah, these three armies, it would be Dikra, Poltava, uh, Prazovia, and we could take this entire territory. <coughs> but I would need three more armies here, which I will have. One could attack Kuban, one could attack Alani, and one could attack Izum Sakma, and we could just sweep in before the Ottomans actually have any chance to intervene. Like that. A massive victory with, you know, without any time to react on the side of the Ottomans would be the best case scenario here, so I guess that's what I'm probably gonna be after. Uh, we have a free trader, so let's send him to Mississippi. There, there you go. Burden of taxation, that sucks. You will go to Manich. Wait, where am I sending the other one? To money, okay. So you guys go to Sarkel. Well, okay. Makes sense. Well, I got news for you. Uh, we managed to finish the colonization of Salamda and Soktahan. So I sent my colonist to uh, claim Gidan and Uda. 
we can't unfortunately claim Nurgan until we finish either this or this province. This one will be sooner, so we're gonna get it. But I decided to give up on these two provinces in lieu of the Naples province. I could potentially declare war on Yin and just take these provinces and then this one, but I can't, for some reason, I can't send a colonist here. Weird. Anyway, we're just gonna go for Nurgan for now and see how that's gonna go. But what we can do here now is take one will, the last of the Empire ideas. One will. A ship only has one captain, and an Empire can only truly have one state. Although we may permit our people their own affairs, even, in some things, their own government, when push comes to shove, there is no denying who grants these privileges and who can take them away. So Eurocentralization transition is increased by 0.1%. Which means we're getting 0.23 per month, and that's with the noble concessions. So, awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, we can't really do much with anyone here. Oh, we can reduce tributes for the, for the clans. Stability is still sitting at 46.65, which is fine by me, you know. We don't have much of a problem with that, and we'll need to... Uh, Korsuktan. I'm actually uh, converting Maya and Salemde. Both of these two provinces have very high unrest. <coughs> Pardon me. Wait, Suktahan? Oh, Salemde and Maya. We're not doing Suktahan. I'm not sure why suddenly new colonized provinces have such high unrest. It doesn't make any, any logical sense. You know, it's, it's weird. Well, I mean, I can go and have a look at the unrest here, but I don't think any other province has... Yeah, it's the banditry and rebellion that's way off the charts. I don't know why. Weird. But yeah, this is what our autonomy looks like now. You can see that some of these provinces have an autonomy of 85. We managed to govern them all the way from our capital. Hey, Nakon has finished. Okay. So we have yet another province finished. Could we now go? <clears throat> yeah, we probably could. Okay, I can't go there, but I can recall you. It's too far away. Okay, so there's obviously nothing I can do. So I'll send you here and just get Chukotka. So this is where Chukotka is, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know the name and I knew it for a while, but I never really figured out where that place was. Damn, that's that's wholesome. Uh, make a core here. And I think we could make these a state. But that's gonna mean we need more cores, don't we? Yep, oh, just one, okay. Hey, and the Sixth Republican Army had an increase in drilling. Whoever that guy is, he has Siege of Six, which is honestly bonkers. Oh, let's see you. You have Siege of Six. That's madness. Now, does Dicker have a fort? It does. Okay, so we're gonna put it to good use, but holy hell. That really is insane. Okay, uh, the Ottomans had some trouble with... And they're still having some trouble with uh, Pretender Rebels. Which, you know, I don't mind. Let them. Uh, we're still preparing for the attack on the Crimea. We now have 40,000 in manpower. So let's see, I don't know what the limit will be. We have 114,000 as a max, and we get 61,000. So about 10 extra thousand can be in the manpower pool, which is, you know, good number. I'm not gonna lie, that is decent. As far as unrest go, we can see that Mazir is uh, dropping. We are getting better numbers on most of these provinces as far as autonomy goes. They're gonna keep falling. Oh wow. 
<laughs> you are having some problems. Separatism, okay. Separatism, 0.61. Jesus, 0.61. That's 120 years of separatism. What the? Would that go away with core or... What the hell? 120 years of separatism. Well, this nationalism is going out of control, really. Well, we have had another election. Unfortunately... Oh, actually he got really old. I thought he was like 30. Damn. Okay, let's get a military candidate this time. Uh, we're gonna continue with the current leadership. 444, I'll dig that. 41 years... 41 years, Knyas Rostisov, the 8th Bininsky. Let's see what his skill is. Uh, we're having a little bit of a trouble in the Far East. Uh, we have an angry mob expansionist. Okay, that's good. Uh, we have an angry mob forming. 90%. There's going to be 10,000 of them. And they're going to form in these provinces here. Which is ridiculous, and unfortunately, marching there is gonna take forever. I'm actually considering it might be faster just sending ships at this point. You know what, let's test it out. I'm just gonna send... Where do I have the transport fleet? I think I have them here. If it turns out to be faster, I'm just gonna start sending them. Oh, okay, we could upgrade them. Why is it something like this? We'll see. We shall see who arrives first. Anyway, the biggest problem is that I can't really handle them because that takes 82 military power, which is insane. I don't know, 82 is just way too high. Damn, I might have to. But I really want the trash. Well, the angry mob just wants taxes, so they're not like, um, you know, they're not going to increase separatism or anything, so I don't think I have to worry about it that much, but I just do, you know, I don't want my subjects to be mad. Well, they're mad, but I don't want them to be mad at me. <laughs> Well, we converted the heretics of Maya, which lowers the unrest significantly there. But, you know, there is still some. Uh, we have other places that we can convert now, like Ochota, which is a province that we have just uh, finished colonizing. Uh, it's called... It's Tengredo. <laughs> Actually, did we? Yeah, we converted you. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's start working on you. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, Salanda is going to be converted next. Uh, we're going to finish this colony soon as well, so Nurgan will be ours. Uh, we actually extended our reach past Chukotka all the way to Koryak, which we are colonizing now. So I don't know how far we can get. I don't know where... Oh, probably here. No, these are probably still colonized. So I don't know where where the okay portuguese alaska is here hmm so i guess we'll meet somewhere here maybe nah, not sure not sure uh, but it's gonna be fun to be done with the colonization uh, the rebel armies still haven't made a move so that's actually pretty fun but now they have ohota to support them as well, not great, not great. The Ottomans are peaceful, there is nothing going on, so I don't really mind that. We have missionaries working, colonists working, things are, you know, slow and steady. Uh, we lost a bit of manpower due to the fact that our armies are marching through the ever-loving hell here. You can see that they are about halfway there. Where are you, shippies? Uh, they're getting there. It, it might really be faster to use ships. These guys actually had a big advantage in 
uh, time that they departed because by the time they were here we sent the ships from here so who knows you know they might be there they might not uh, I'm looking forward to the triage and to the limes those are going to help with navy morale and colonial range and triage with uh, you know of course military tactics land morale cavalry shock and it's going to give us a new unit now one thing that's actually kind of important is to remember that we have a way higher technology than Crimea so they will probably not be able to resist us again Blitzkrieg basically we're gonna go in and we're gonna eat it up whole and hope that nobody has any time to resist us uh, we are finishing the course here as well which is kind of important I'm gonna be all done very soon you can see that there's almost no unrest Okay, the separatism dropped to 30. I don't know. The game is probably calculating some stuff without actually telling me what what it means or <laughs> what is going on. Uh, the unrest though is still increasing in most places. I don't know. I don't care as long as Kiev is fine and Kiev is fine, so you know, not my problem. Uh, I'm also happy that we keep control of these territories fairly well. Now with such a high centralization, so things are looking good. Which reminds me, have we finished the capital in uh, the city of Onon? Wait, no, it's not Onon, it's damn, Orkon. Okay, Orkon. We did, we have a capital one there. And we're building the next one. So how does this help with the autonomy? Well, I don't see a big difference, but it's working. Also, building the roads in the soul cut. Oh wait, they're still not finished. Damn it! Uh, it didn't help much with Chardin. <laughs> I managed to build. Uh, I managed to build the capital in the worst possible problem. So yay to me! Yay to me! Anyway, this is all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one where we are going to continue the story of Novgorod and probably maybe even the Quartet War on Crimea because I'm starting to get a little giddy.